In Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity, Link, the champion of Hyrule, is truly a force to be reckoned with. And though he is a master of many weapons, all of which he can use to cause tremendous damage, it really isn't until he gets out his two-handed weapons that his more bestial side can really start to show. With any of these, Link is given a unique playstyle that is very much high risk, high reward. And although it can be difficult to grasp for beginners, with an understanding of what it can do, players are able to make smarter choices when using it that are less likely to result in their quick defeat. Let's jump in with this weapon to find out everything it can do. Link's regular attack string consists of seven attacks. He will slash to the left, swipe up, flip up and slam the ground, do a flipping attack forward, swipe quickly to the left, dash and thrust forward, and then finish with a big jumping slam. Link really does have some fantastic strong attacks to get to by learning this regular attack string, so it really is worth getting familiar with it as soon as possible. Before we move on to those, however, let's take a look at his other basic moves next. Starting with his regular dash attack, Link will swing his weapon while jumping in the air, bringing him to a stop and then ready to continue on into his regular attack string. For his strong dashing attack, he will do a running spinning attack and land back on his feet without coming to a stop. As usual, you will want to use his regular dash attack only when you want to stop running and dig into a fight, and his strong dash attack when you want to pick up KOs while on the move. Jumping over to his aerial moves, his regular aerial attack string will have him do three exaggerated swipes midair, with the last one allowing him to fit in his strong attack finisher, which has him flip and slam back down to the ground. There's a little bit more to what he can do midair, but I'll get to all of that in the strong attack and unique attack section. Let's move on to his Sheikah Slate runes next. First of all, I have to say that all of Link's Sheikah Slate runes work exactly the same regardless of what weapon he's holding. This means that I will have the same thing to say in the One Hand Sword and Spear Guides. Since these are all very straightforward, I'm going to try to go through them a little bit faster than normal here. Link's stasis has him time lock enemies directly in front of him for a short time. After this, he is completely free to move and continue attacking. And of course, this is best used to freeze enemies while their weak point gauges are out. For his cryonis, Link creates an ice block under him that sends him flying up into the sky, from which he can either land, start riding the wind, or begin doing any of his aerial attacks. For magnesis, Link will grab metal objects or weapons and hold them in front of himself. He can also move for a short time while this attack is going on. If there's nothing for him to grab, this room simply fails, but it also won't start his rune cooldown. Last up for his remote bomb rune, he will throw out four remote bombs in a row, which you are able to aim while he's throwing them. Unfortunately, if he hits an enemy with this and that also stuns them, he can't then dodge cancel out of the animation and start doing something else. Instead, he must wait for all of his bombs to fully leave his hands. Having covered all of Link's basic moves, let's jump over to his strong attacks next. Link's first strong attack is actually not an attack, but instead a mechanic that works directly in tandem with his unique action. I'll go into his unique action first here, and then swing back around to what this strong attack does afterwards. Link's unique action with two-handed weapons allows him to pull off a stronger version of every one of his strong attacks, and it also works mid-air and without any previous regular attacks beforehand. The red-tinged versions of these attacks have larger range and damage, but also come at the exchange of draining Link's health. Unlike normal damage, this drain damage is temporary and is indicated by a grayish tinge to the missing health. If Link is injured while he has this temporary health damage, all of the temporary health damage is lost on top of the normal damage that he will also receive. In general, that's how his unique action works, so let's go back to that first strong attack. When using it, Link will stop and pull out some food to eat, which will restore his missing temporary health damage, but it cannot recover any missing health damage that you may have gotten earlier. His unique action combined with this strong attack give an ebb and flow to the two-handed fighting style, and makes it that very high-risk, high-reward playstyle I was talking about. 
I'll be covering the additional attacks that his unique action brings for each of his later strong attacks, as well as listing the temporary health damage. For example, if you just hit ZR without doing any attacks beforehand, he will do a flipping spinning attack, which will deal exactly one half heart of temporary damage to Link. However, every strong attack after this will instead do a full heart of damage. Next up, for Link's second strong attack, he does an extremely long attack up into the air. You can then transition into doing his aerial attacks or start floating away. If you are doing the unique action version of this, Link will attack into the air just the same, but then finish with a stab into the ground that leaves a steaming geyser that deals consistent damage to enemies caught in it for a short time. For his third strong attack, Link launches into an extended spinning attack, during which you are able to move him around. If using the unique version of this, the attack is much slower, but hits a far larger area and ends with a large ranged slam. His fourth strong attack has him do a dashing attack, one that sends off a flying force forwards. If done using his unique action, he does this much faster, and also adds in an additional swiping attack afterwards. This can also be extended up to two more times to make a total of three attacks, but it will still do the same one heart of temporary damage, so you are free to fire away with it. For his fifth strong attack, Link thrusts forward and then does a spinning attack into the air, after which you can add in aerial attacks or floating away or whatever you want. The unique version of this has Link instead do the same thrust into the air and then spin, and then follow it up with a long series of additional large attacks. This can lead to some absurdly long aerial strings, and is fantastic for using against vulnerable enemies who can't hit you back while you're doing all of this. However, you may not want to stay in the air for long, as the last part of this attack forces out enemy weak point gauges, which of course you will want to lock with stasis if you have the time to do so. Link's sixth and final strong attack has him stand and do a series of long-range attacks to the front, and if using the unique action version, he does the same but faster, and finishes with a slash that spins and lingers a bit more, dealing damage for a short time. This attack, like his previous one, also forces out the weak point gauge. When looked at together, Link really does have a fantastic set of strong attacks. Having two weak point revealers is an absolute treat, of course, and although it can be risky, it really is nice to have a character who can give up their health in exchange for being faster and more powerful. With all of his attacks now covered, let's finally move on to his weapons and weapon build recommendation next. <laughs> As usual, when it comes to Link's weapon sections, I'm going to have to organize them just a little bit differently, because while every other character only has three weapons to choose from, when looking at just his two-handed weapons, Link has 25 different options. I'm going to put a chart up on screen with all of their hidden level 25 and 30 seals, but it's important to note that he really just has six best choices, which consist of the Dragonbone Moblin Club, Ancient Battle Axe Plus Plus, Mighty Lionel Crusher, Savage Lionel Crusher, Royal Guard Claymore, and Edge of Duality. When it comes to a weapon build, I'm going to focus on the Savage Lionel Crusher, which technically has the very highest attack damage that he can achieve. However, what I recommend for it in general will apply to just about any weapon that he has with minor tweaks. As usual, going with full attack speed is the best choice for Link here. But as it might take some time to find good enough quality seals of this type, you could also just drop in some strong attack damage seals as well, as his elongated strong attacks contribute a lot to his overall damage. More specifically for the Savage Lionel Crusher, if you want to achieve a plus 20 damage bonus by matching 4 seals and 2 seals, I personally would put 3 attack speed seals onto it, and then match the forced hexagonal seal with either a seal that lowers your damage, increases your healing, or increases your healing drop rate. All of these might help counterbalance any accidental damage that you end up taking while using his two-handed playstyle. If you are feeling a little bit spicy and willing to risk it all, you could also instead kit out Link with three damage at 30% hearts or less seals. Due to Link being able to take his own health away, it's actually pretty easy to get down to less than 30% and go full berserk mode, which would end up increasing his damage no matter what he's doing. Using food that lowers his maximum health is a good way to make it easier to get into his 30%. And the monster food will also further increase his damage and other stats to prevent him from taking so much damage that he just gets one-shotted in this mode. Well, just like that, we have covered Two-Handed Link. Let's put everything together and see where he ends up. <laughs> 
Using Link's two-handed weapons really is quite the power trip. Being totally honest, two-handed Link is one of my absolute favorite playstyles in the game, and I really adore how its mechanics encourage a risky playstyle that can actually pay off for it with incredible strings of high-flying regular and strong attack damage. If you are willing to put your life on the line, the Champion of Hyrule can truly do wonders. So, what are your thoughts on Link and his two-handed weapons? Be sure to let me know in the comments below, and also if there was anything big that I missed, go ahead and drop that down below as well. If I need to, I'll put a pinned comment on this video for anything big that I might have forgotten about. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time. I'd like to give a special thank you to my top patrons, DW7 Still Rules, Henry Gutierrez, Ryan Poe, and True Tactician, as well as to all my other patrons. Thank you all very much.